Hi guys, my name is Maya and I'm from Jordan. I have two sisters who are a couple of years older than me. They both have blonde hair, blue eyes, and fair skin, while my eyes are black like my curly hair. My sisters thought they were prettier than me and they made sure I never forgot that. Once when I was in kindergarten, I came home to show everyone the family tree I'd made. My oldest sister, Layla, the meanest girl on earth, snatched the card from me and said, Aw, you drew this? I can't deny it's beautiful, but I think you missed something. And with that, she colored my face with a black crayon. See? Now it looks better. She threw the card at me and left laughing with my other sister, Selma. <laughs> I cried, but mom hugged me tight. Oh, Maya, ignore your sisters. They're jealous of your beauty. Mom always cheered me up, but I realized she was lying when I was eight and some guests came to visit. One of the women said to my mom, your daughters are pretty, but this youngest one is quite unlucky. I doubt she'll ever get married. Oh well, she can take care of you and your husband in your old age. I think Maya is special in her own way. And then Selma spoke up. Mom, she is ugly. Just face it. Stop being stupid and shut up already. Don't talk to mom like that, you witch. I pounced on her and bit her arm so hard it swelled up. She had to put on a bandage for a week. As if my sisters weren't awful enough, dad was a jerk too. He didn't love mom at all. He was only with her because she was rich. He thought I was ugly too and always blamed mom for giving me her jeans. Since I was mom's favorite, she did her best to make up for the rest of my terrible family. When I was only in the seventh grade, I had a big closet full of the fanciest clothes and makeup brands. I liked that, but what I really wanted the most was to join an international school in the capital city. Mom said we'd move, but my sisters threw a huge tantrum when they found out. Why would we leave our amazing lives and friends and go live somewhere else? It's not our fault that Mia is ugly and no one likes her here. Mom, Mia is worthless. She would be more useful if we used her as our broom. Her ugly curly hair is perfect for that. The two witches started laughing like maniacs. Just then, dad walked in and shouted, Listen, woman, if you decide to move out, you can consider yourself divorced. Mom, that's amazing. Mom smiled at me and decided to leave. And dad did divorce mom. My sisters had no choice but to come with us. And now they hated me even more. My birthday usually fell on the first day of school and mom would always throw a huge party. But this time I told her that I didn't want to celebrate my birthday anymore. Why would someone celebrate losing a year of their life? To celebrate getting older? That's just weird. Baby, why are you saying this? I see celebrating a birthday as being grateful for living another year. Listen, why don't we just celebrate it at school? I'll give all the kids fancy presents and they'll like you from the first day. No, mom, I don't wanna buy anyone's love. I just want people to love me for who I am. Well, the new school wasn't a lot better than home. On my first day, I met a girl named Noor. She was a redhead and her beauty was unique. When I entered the classroom, she stared at me from head to toe, then said, Ooh, attention everyone. We have a new baby here, but we all know our classroom only has pretty girls with fair faces and light hair. What are we going to do with this ugly duckling? The room fell silent and everyone was staring at me. Suddenly, I just snapped and started screaming, Shut up, shut up. You and everyone here, just shut up. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, you shallow people. Everyone looked shocked and they started whispering. Just then my sister showed up from behind me. Oh, excuse her, she's our sister, but she has some issues. We are so sorry for her bad manners. With that, they pushed me aside and introduced themselves to Noor and started taking selfies with her. Ugh, these horrible creatures. It was obvious that this Noor ruled the school, and I knew after my outburst, she wouldn't leave me alone. But to my surprise, she did leave me alone. I was the invisible girl. No one dared to talk to me or sit next to me because they knew Noor would be mad. Things went on like that for weeks, until one day a couple of boys sat next to me at lunch. Hey, listen, I'm speaking on behalf of all the boys in the school. We all think you're very pretty. What? Are you making fun of me? Why would we? Those big black eyes, this long curly hair, and that tanned, flawless skin? 
God, I really wish Noor wasn't around. You're so pretty, Maya. Oh, so you're man enough to confess your feelings, but only when Noor isn't around. You're like scared mice in front of her. Just go away and leave me alone. Told you. She's not only pretty, she's brave too. And always speaks her mind. Man, I think I'm falling in love. Just then, Noor passed by and the boys <laughs> ran off like little baby rabbits. Later that day when I walked past the bathroom, I heard some girls scream whispering and cursing. I opened the door and found Noor and Layla pushing another small girl who was screaming in fright. I immediately pushed Noor aside. What are you doing? Stop this. Oh, look who's here. And what are you gonna do about it? Touch her again and I will hurt you. Oh really, Robin Hood? Watch this. And then she pushed the small girl again. I was about to attack her when Layla jumped in and the two pinned me against the wall. Just leave before you regret coming to this school. They let me go and I ran away, straight to the principal's office. If they thought I'd let them get away with being bullies, they were so wrong. And I was so happy when Nora and Layla got suspended for two weeks. Layla and I didn't talk at home and I didn't tell mom about anything. One day during lunch, the cute boy from the other day came to me and announced in front of everyone, I think you're right. I can't be scared forever. I like you, Maya. Can we be friends? Just then, Noor came running to us screaming, heck no. Suddenly she attacked me and then she ripped my t-shirt so that everyone could see the burn scars on my stomach. I got these scars when I was three and I'd never told a soul about them. Everyone, just look at her. She's a freak. Why would you want to be with someone like her when you could have a perfect girl like me? The boys were staring at my stomach, speechless, and so was everyone else. I was shocked. Of course, only my sisters could have told Noor about my scars. Angry tears started rolling down my cheeks. Oh, look at this crybaby. Not only do you have an ugly face, it's just that everything is so ugly about you. Just stay home and say goodbye to high school. And you, say goodbye to your shiny, smooth, red hair. And with that, I jumped on her and started tearing her hair out. She started screaming and crying until some of the students and teachers pulled me away. The principal demanded that I come to her office, but I pushed her away and ran out of the school. Mom was furious when she heard the whole thing. She said she wanted to come to the school. I said no and tried to convince her to stay home. But the next day, mom turned up at school. The moment she saw Noor, she started walking towards her angrily to shout at her. But just then, Layla pushed mom away and she fell on the ground. Don't you dare touch my friend. Instead of coming to school to embarrass yourself, stay home and discipline your little Maya. She's a monster, not a sister. I couldn't take it anymore. I jumped on Layla to attack her. Suddenly, Selma came running too, and I knew I was about to get my butt kicked. But to my shock, she slapped Layla and pushed her away from me. Then she helped mom get up and I couldn't believe my eyes. Did Selma just defend me and mom? That's enough, Layla. I would never choose a stranger over my family, especially a jerk like Noor. She promised to keep Maya's scars a secret and look what she did yesterday. And that's why I'm ending my stupid friendship with her and you, Layla. Layla looked furious. She took Noor's hand and they both stormed off. Later that evening, I barged into Layla and Selma's room to get something off my chest. I just came here to say, you two have mocked me and bullied me all my life, but to tell my biggest secret to someone like Noor and let her humiliate me in front of everyone? That's really low, even for you. And I'm done with you guys for good. But Maya, I'm on your side. I'm not dumb, Selma. I only know you defended me and mom because you probably got into some dumb fight with Layla and wanted to tease her. Just then, Selma started to cry and got down on her knees. I swear, I've changed. Maya, I've been a mean, jealous jerk. I've always envied you for your beauty and even more for your amazing personality. You're confident, brave, smart, funny, and kind. You're amazing, my little sister. You're amazing. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Selma was jealous of my beauty? I helped her get up and hugged her tight. And for the first time, she said, I love you, Maya. I truly do. I'm sorry about all the pain I caused you. Please forgive me. It's all right now. 
I forgive you, and I love you too. Ew, I think I'm gonna barf. I still think you're ugly, Maya, and I don't regret telling Noor anything. I'd choose my gorgeous BFF over you two losers any day. I can't even share a room with you anymore, Selma. You disgust me. And with that, she picked up her things and moved to the attic. Some weeks later, Layla had to make a presentation on Earth Day in front of the whole school, including some important guests like the Minister of Education. When it was her turn, she went onto the stage confidently and turned on the slideshow. But to my horror, I saw pictures of me on the screen with terrible things written about how dark and ugly I was. Layla, what is this nonsense? She looked as shocked as I felt. I swear, sir, I have no idea. This is not the slideshow I made. Suddenly, I spotted Noor in a corner laughing her head off. Of course it was her. Sir, I'm her sister, and I know she didn't do that. She wouldn't. It's that girl, Noor. Shut up, Maya. Who asked you to defend me? No, babe. She's right. I just hate her. And you're just so dumb. And made it so easy for me to ruin your sister. I'm the queen of this school. And no one, no one can replace me. And imagine if it was a dark, ugly girl like her. That's enough. I will not tolerate this awful behavior anymore. Noor, Layla, you're both expelled. Just then, the minister rose from his seat. Not only expelled, I'll make sure that you only get enrolled in a strict Catholic school so you can learn some manners and discipline. You're such a disgrace to this school. Bullying people for how they look? Everyone is beautiful in their own way. The whole auditorium started to applaud as the two stormed off. By the time we got home, Mom told us that Layla had packed her bags and moved back with Dad. I think Layla and Noor got what they deserved. I won't let anyone manipulate me like they did anymore. I'm beautiful and strong just as I am.